It's time now for a look at latest in local news. In the news, the name of that Wayne County school bus driver has been released to his pulled over Tuesday afternoon and charged with driving under the influence. Her name is Heather McClellan. The report is that a citizen called in to report the erratic driving by the bus and was the bus was pulled over by Jessup Police. There were two students on the bus at the time. One of the students is the child of the bus driver. School officials state they're grateful that law enforcement was contacted by a local citizen intervened before an accident occurred. School citizens said they regrets that this even took place. They state they'll further their commitment to put the safety and welfare of their students and staff as their highest priority. Once again, the bus driver is being charged. Her name, Heather McClellan, charged with DUI. Early voting taking place here locally and around the state. Here in Wayne County on day three, 340 more people voted, bringing Wayne County's three-day total to 996. Early voting taking place Monday through Friday up until November the 4th from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., taking place at the Hall Richardson Recreation Center, which is located at 644 North 4th Street in Jessup. There are two Saturdays set aside for early voting, this Saturday, October 22nd, next Saturday, October 29th. The time on Saturday is from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. also at the Hall Richardson Recreation Center. Locally, two Wayne County Commission races to be decided. District 4 between incumbent James Thompson, challenger Fred Anderson. District 5, Jamie Hickox on the ballot. She has opposition from a writing candidate, Jackie Hoyt. Once again, Hoyt not on the ballot. When you vote, you must write her name in if you intend to vote for her candidacy, both seeking the District 5 seat on the city on the county council. Statewide, Governor Brian Kemp making another South Georgia a statewide visit. He'll be in Jessup on Thursday, a week from today, October 27th. He'll be at the Altamont Steak and Seafood around 12 noon. Public invited to come and visit the governor. Once again, that's a week from today. Governor Brian Kemp in Jessup Thursday afternoon at the Altamont Steak and Seafood Restaurant located at 362 North 1st Street. On Wednesday, October 26th, the governor will be in Patterson, Georgia at the annual Peanuts, Pines, and Politics at Mossy Pond Retrievers. This by invitation only, sponsored by State Resident Stephen Meeks. Expected are a lot of statewide Republican candidates for the event as they make their trip to the annual Georgia-Florida game. Lunch from 1230 to 1.30. WIFLFM will be on hand, bringing their comments from those politicians attending. And High Speaker David Ralston, always a regular at the event. And that's taking place next Wednesday, October 26th at Mossy Pond in Patterson, Georgia. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages. So please stay tuned. Several events taking place today. Martha Puck Middle School is hosting their Title I APTT meeting for the school year. Academic parent-teacher team allows teachers and parents to work together to meet students. Again, that's today beginning at 5.30. Title I begins at 5.30. APTT begins at 6 p.m. Again, all that taking place at Martha Puck Middle School today. The Wayne County Chamber of Commerce is hosting a cookout today for elected officials, both locally and statewide. That's taking place at the Jessup Train Depot today at 6 p.m. Attorney General Chris Carr in town today campaigning. He'll be at the Strand Bistro this afternoon. Again, we'll bring you his comments here tomorrow on local news. Wayne County Chamber of Commerce gearing up for their annual meeting. That's going to take place Monday, October 24th at 5.30 p.m. at the Polytech Center. Chamber of Commerce invites everyone to attend the annual meeting. Annual meeting is a chance to connect with fellow chamber members, learn more about the chamber. Once again, that's Monday, October the 24th. Still time to register to participate in Wayne County's Board of Tours and Big Buck Contest, that's about to get underway. The date's October 22nd through the 30th. Guaranteed $5,000 payout to first place winners, or for, to the first place winner. The registration costs just $50. Entry includes participation into the eight day contest. Entry into the banquet also included, which is set for November the 5th. You also get a general raffle ticket, a gun raffle ticket, and a tournament t shirt. If you need more information, call the Wayne County Board of Tourism office. That number, 427-3233, your visit the website, waynetourism.com. The turkey trot race is coming up on November 12th at J.C. Stadium. That is $25 per person. Registration that morning from 7 to 8 with the race at 8 a.m. You can also register in advance by active.com or call Judy Beaver at the high school, 427-1096, extension 729. Again, the annual turkey trot race and run. That's, again, Saturday, November 12th at J.C. Stadium. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Final notes and news, City Jessup's Archfest is set for this Saturday in downtown Jessup from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Tomorrow on the Bitch and Bob Show, we'll be joined by City of Jessup's new DDA Director, Hallie Gillespie. She has all the details of the Archfest. Again, we've got a lineup for you. Entertainment lineup, again, the, the opening ceremony is going to get underway between 10 and 10.15 with remarks by the City of Jessup Mayor, Ralph Hickox. 10.15 to 10.30, Kevin Dulio. 10.45, 11.45 a.m., Young Attitudes, or 11.15, Young Attitudes Dance Center. 11.15, 12 noon, Gina's Gems. 12 noon, 
or 12.30 to 1.30, World Class Karate, 1.30 to 2.30, Chad Evers, 2.30 to 3, Jeff Chandler, 3.30 to 4, Graffiti on Trains, Winter announced, and 4 to 5 p.m. they'll have music. Again, the train day taking place all day Saturday at the Justice Train Depot. They've got bingo from 10 to 2. Again, the City Justice 19th Annual Arch Fest this Saturday beginning at 10 a.m. in downtown Jessup. Again, TDA Director Hallie Gillespie joins us tomorrow with all the details. And as we mentioned, the football game between Burke County has been moved to a Halloween night. It will take place at J.C. Stadium at 7 o'clock before the game between 5.30 and 7 p.m. The schools come up with a big event called Trunk or tr- Trunk Tent or Treat. School clubs, teams, churches, businesses, community groups are all invited to participate. If you need more information, contact the high school. They're going to give away prizes awarded to the display set up with the most jacket spirit. Kids 10 under in costume get in free admission into the game with a paid adult. So, again, a lot of activities taking place that night at J.C. Stadium. Again, Wayne County takes on Burke County that Halloween night. It's a Monday night, and it's Halloween night. But, again, all types of activities taking place. Again, they're asking school clubs, teams, churches, business, all to participate. If you need more information, simply contact the high school. Another big event coming up, the annual day for Wayne, which will take place at the Clanton Ranch on the banks of the Altamar River. That date, Thursday, November 3rd. Dinner will be served from 1230 to 2 p.m. All types of events taking place. Fishing, deer and hog hunting, skeet shooting, kayaking, tours of the river, tours of the farm. All taking place that Thursday, November 3rd at the Clanton River Ranch. They said it's the 18th annual event for Day for Wayne. And finally in the news, the pinking of the Jessup City Fountain will happen Thursday, October 27th at 11 a.m., Program begins inside the Jessup Depot's community room. A representative from the city will welcome the crowd and introduce guest speaker Gwendolyn Lockley, breast cancer survivor. When more hospitals, Jill Blizzard will provide closing comments for the inside portion of the program. Those attending will then move outside to the fine where a group photo will be taken, followed by a balloon release and the pinking of the fine. Public always invited and encouraged to attend. Again, this is in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The pinking of the fine once again set for Thursday next week, October 27th at 11 a.m. That's going to do it for latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan, have a great day.